I'm Greg Hurt, the uh, VP of uh, Sales and Marketing at Microspace, and um, I also want to introduce my colleague, Kurt Tilley, who's not here today, but he's actually the TCG channel manager. He had scheduled vacation, family vacation, early in the year and couldn't make it, but uh, he sends his regards to, uh, to everyone uh, here. Uh, thanks, TCG, for, for putting on uh, events like this. Uh, it just it gives vendors a great opportunity to speak to uh, agents that are on the streets every day and, and share with us the things that they're uh, that they're that they're running into and it's just it's really valuable for us to have an opportunity to to do that so thank you for for putting together the meeting and for all of you that came thank you for for being here we're uh, taking a significant part of your day uh, you know time that you could be out uh, selling your uh, services and take care of customers so. Spending your time with us is, uh, is really, really valuable as well, so, uh, so thank you. Um, we're going to talk about uh, Microspace's uh, Cellcast fully managed 4G uh, solution to, uh, today. I think we are. This may be need to... Here we go, here we go. Um, Microspace has been in the, uh, the 4G uh, managed uh, space for about four years now. Um, and we, we evaluated the marketplace uh, closely before we decided to enter the market and, uh, and realized that we could bring some value to, to, to the space. And I think a lot of that value is based on some of our historic uh, experience, which uh, I want to, uh, to share with you. Um, we've been around for just over 30 years now. Um, we uh, provide enterprise-based uh, communications networks, primarily up until the time we introduced Cellcast, those were satellite-based uh, networks. And there are over a quarter of a million of those locations that are in, in, in play right now that we deliver content to each and every day. This is a pretty neat uh, piece of info. One in, uh, in three Americans are, are, are reached by, by content that we deliver uh, each, and every, each and every day. And you can see some of the larger customers that we, that we have here and, and these are, are folks that we deliver audio, video, uh, data to, but uh, many of them are also coming on board as, as 4G wireless uh, providers. Um, we also work with a number of small organizations and, and they all get treated the same, the same way, solid customer uh, support and a good solid product. We're, uh, we're based in Raleigh, uh, North Carolina, and we're a subsidiary of Capital Broadcasting uh, Company. And, and Capital Broadcasting Company, very diverse organization made up of TV stations, radio stations, commercial properties, but probably the most recognizable uh, uh, name for, for you folks would be the Durham Bulls, the Durham Bulls uh, Baseball uh, Club. So a very diverse organization. We're really a proud to be a, a part of Capital. It's not liking me. Is that like a cable company? Capital? No. Um, TV, radio, um, or, or the the uh, uh, the legacy uh, businesses. Okay, I'm having a little bit of trouble. Okay, great. I'll do that from now on. Um, let me give you some of the highlights of our fully managed uh, 4G wireless solution that we call uh, Cellcast. First, we use Cradle Point uh, hardware, and we evaluated uh, the options in the market, and we believe that Cradle Point is the best uh, option in the marketplace. Now, we were also fortunate to work with uh, Cradle Point and their API to to get into there and have uh, increased visibility into the, into the networks. Something that I'm going to repeat probably four or five times during the presentation is we're very heavy on managed services, monitoring the network, and reporting things to you. We think that's the key differentiator in what Microspace uh, does. 
you can see here it's a, it's a no capex model. So whether we're doing a month-to-month -month deployment or a two-year deal or a three-year deal, your customer's not paying anything out of pocket. They're gonna get a, a, a cradle point uh, device, a data plan, uh, which you know we, we work with you to, 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 to right size uh, that, and also the uh, 24-7, 365 monitoring and reporting. All that's in, in one, one monthly uh, cost. We don't do any bandwidth throttling. We're not gonna tell you that you're gonna get an unlimited uh, uh, plan and then once the thing gets to 10 or 20 gig or, or wherever it's throttled down in, in speed. We, uh, we're delivering a product uh, that is something that you can count on from a, from a performance uh, standpoint. Static IP address included with, uh, with, with every router that we, that we send out. Uh, we're PCI compliant, so if you run into applications in, in the retail space, and I, I think that that's a really, really good market for you, you know you've got a device there that is PCI compliant. And uh, world-class monitoring and reporting, second time I've, I've, I've mentioned it. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about the different flavors of, uh, of, of, of Cellcast, and they're, they're, they're basically uh, three of them. And once we go through those, I want to share uh, a couple of, of actual deployments. And I think as I go through those, you're probably going to say to yourself, you know, I had, had that situation last month or, 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 or three weeks ago, and uh, I think you'll find out you've got a, a solution now where you can, you can address those. The, uh, the first uh, flavor is, is Cellcast uh, failover. I thought these, uh, uh, this info was pretty interesting. Um, the global info uh, provider IHS did a study last year and, uh, and found that a typical uh, US-based company has uh, five uh, outages a month. You know, they might be one minute, they might be 30 seconds, or they may be two hours. Uh, but cumulatively, uh, those outages had a value of over $700 billion, so a really, really big number there. But probably the most interesting info uh, from the study uh, showed that over 50% of these companies, U.S.-based companies, don't have a formal failover solution in, in place. And um, that's just not, not smart business, and I think those are opportunities that you're going to be able to take uh, advantage of with uh, the Cellcast uh, 4G uh, solution. Second flavor, uh, Cellcast uh, primary. Um, we, we've been pretty, uh, pretty surprised by the number of, of opportunities that we uh, have to provide uh, connectivity into locations that don't have any type of uh, terrestrial uh, options. We thought that those opportunities would be uh, few and, and far between, but that hasn't been the case, and I'm going to share a couple of those with you uh, in just a few minutes. Uh, third flavor, Cellcast uh, Assist, and the, the, the TPX folks did a really good job of, of talking about SD-WAN. Uh, earlier, but Cellcast Assist would be used in a situation where there's a, an, an SD-WAN appliance in place, uh, a Meraki, a Sonic Wall, or something that, that we feed into as a secondary WAN uh, port. And, and those applications are becoming more and more uh, frequent uh, as we uh, go out looking for opportunities in the, in the marketplace. Cellcast monitoring and reporting. This is a, uh, a dashboard of our uh, monitoring uh, software. Uh, one of the one of the screens, anyway, that I wanted to uh, to share with you. And and this is this is sort of a network at a glance uh, screen. Uh, this particular network, which actually is a real network on the Cellcast uh, uh, platform, has a hundred users. The data plan for each site is 250 megabytes, and cumulatively, there are 24 gig available to that network in, in data every, every month. This particular application is for uh, POS uh, failover, uh, internal internet communications, and a couple of VoIP uh, circuits. And even at 250 megabit, this customer uh, 
with the exception of one month, has never gone over their, their data usage plan. So the, the pooled data concept is very, very uh, important. And uh, we need to take advantage of that, especially in these multi-site uh, opportunities. Now, this is a uh, information that also can be accessed by the customer. I mean, we, we have a lot of customers that want to be under the hood at any given time. They want to go on their network and, and see uh, where they are from a data usage standpoint. You can also go to another screen to look at all of the, the sites within the network and make sure all of them are green lighted, that they're up and, up and going. But, um, you know, we, we, can, we can also, with, with these tools, we, we, we like to say we can, we can turn a, an unmanaged network into a fully managed network. So in many cases, on this particular network, the, the, the primary telco connection uh, is connected into the back of our cradle point device, and as long as it's up and going, it's providing that connectivity. Uh, if it fails, then there's an automatic or seamless uh, transition over to cellcast, and we take care of the traffic until the primary comes back up, and then there's a seamless transition back, uh, back over. But our customers can see uh, that. They, can, they, they know when it's happened. They know how long the primary was, was down, and that's important for, for a, lot of our, a lot of our clients. Um, one other thing I wanted to share with you, and I, I asked our folks in um, network operations to, to send a couple of, uh, of uh, these to me this morning. Um, I think you know, one of the things that most of our customers are, 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 are concerned about is uh, 4G wireless data usage. Uh, you, we're gonna, again, we're gonna try to right size that on the front end to make sure you've got the right plan, but things happen. Um, someone gets on the uh, network on Saturday uh, afternoon and decides to you know, do five or six hours of, of Netflix. Or there's a, a large data file delivery requirement that, 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 came, that came up. We feel that, that the communications costs have got to be predictable. There, there, there can't be any surprises. So this is a message that we sent out to a customer uh, late yesterday afternoon. Uh, our network monitoring software has indicated that the Cradle Point uh, IBR 650 device located in Pittstown, uh, Pennsylvania, has used greater than 80% of the allocated data amount for the month. So we've, we've thrown a flag to, to them to let them know you're, 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 you're getting close. You know, there are five days left in the, in the billing period. Um, you might go over if you, you know, continue at the, at, the, at the current rate. We think that's, that's really important. The second message I want to share with you is um, from a, a, a different customer, actually. And, and this message went out about 10 o'clock last night. Our network monitoring software has indicated that the Cradle Point 650 device located in Arlington, Texas, has exceeded the allocated data amount for the month. Uh, you can see a summary of that data uses by checking your uh, Cellcast uh, portal, gives the, the, the web address uh, there. So we warn the customer, you're getting close, and then we let them know when they've hit the, uh, the amount. Now, if, if this particular customer is in a pool data plan, then they're going to you know, pull data from uh, sites that aren't using all of theirs, and no, no harm, but no foul. If it's a single site, then they're going to they're going to to go over, and of course the contract has uh, stipulations in, in in place as to what the additional data will uh, will run. Okay, I've got four solution briefs that I wanted to uh, to share uh, with you, and and again I think these may be. Uh, situations where uh, you'll you'll run into if you haven't run into them already you'll run into these situations in the in the marketplace. The uh, the first one, and I've got copies of these by the way, over on the on the ledge there. I'd love for you to take these uh, back uh, back with you. But the uh, the first solutions uh, brief is entitled Retail Grand Openings and Beyond. And I'm going to read from this if you don't mind. The, uh, the folks at Sunshine Coffee Shop have gone all in on their grand opening. Significant investments in local print and advertising coupled with the push on social media for the big day. Even looks like the weather's going to cooperate. 
until the local cable provider calls. The promised installation of a telecom circuit a week before the grand opening is delayed for at least 45 days. Without connectivity, how can they launch? No internet, no POS, no telephone. I didn't catch that. So this is a, this is a perfect scenario for, for Cellcast. In, in, in this scenario, we would work with you to determine that first there's good Cellcast coverage at the, at the site. Then we'd configure a, a router. We'd put it in a Pelican case and we could ship it out overnight so you could uh, light it up the next uh, day and, and be, in, be in business until the primary uh, came, came on. We find a lot of these type of, of situations uh, now. And in that scenario, um, we can provide a you month-to-month know, -month agreement. Um, we, we realize in some of those situations that once the, uh, once the primary uh, comes up that uh, the customer may not want to keep it in place. But I would uh, urge you to, uh, to try to convert that opportunity into a, into a failover you know, once, the, once the primary uh, comes back up. Construction and the cloud. Really, really good market for, for Cellcast uh, 4G. Um, and let me read you this, uh, this actual case. On the outskirts of town, Smith Construction Company is set to break ground on a new warehouse in two weeks. The remote site isn't currently served by terrestrial cable or uh, fiber network providers. These providers have committed to provide service, but the lead time for construction starts at six months. Construction team will require cost-effective and reliable network access in two weeks when the construction project starts. Great application for 4G uh, cell, cell cast. Again, we'll put all the equipment in a, a Pelican case. We'll, uh, we'll send it out. It can be used for um, the, the, the engineers that are on site to take care of their email, to do their, 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 their VoIP, or whatever the construction site needs. Again, once the uh, requirement is, is over, whether it's three months or six months or a month, you can, they can pack the stuff up and send it back, send it back to us. Really, Really exciting uh, opportunity uh, here in the in the medical in the medical field with uh, electronic health records. The um, the medical field is uh, in the midst of a, a significant change uh, from a communications uh, standpoint. Um, and many uh, practices are are transitioning. Uh, from uh, on-site uh, record, uh, and, uh, and medical record and insurance information to, to cloud-based uh, services for, for, for patient records and, and, and accounting. And um, it, 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 you know, that, that concept brings great efficiencies to the, uh, to the physician's office, but if the internet connection is, is not in place, they are absolutely dead in the water. If, if, the, if, their, if their primary goes down at 10 o'clock in the morning and they've got no failover, then they never recover through, throughout the day. Uh, some of the offices might have some, um, you know, some, some print records that they can, they can work from, but many these days don't have anything. So the importance of, of having a, uh, a reliable uh, failover in that scenario is really, really uh, important, and I think that's a that's a great market for all of you to to take a take a look at. Last one uh, that I want to share with you uh, here, and uh, we 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 actually got the okay from the folks at Golden Corral to share their uh, scenario, but um, they. Um, they came to us uh, well over a, a year ago and, and shared with us that they had a, had a couple of challenges. And one of the, one of the key ones was in, their, in, the, in the POS uh, area. They, they have you know, over 300 locations uh, nationwide and a, a variety of, of telecom um, solutions, so, you know, some MPLS, DS, DSL, even some, even some copper. And what was happening is uh, when, their, when their internet circuit went, uh, went down, their, P, uh, their POS, their credit card verification, went into 
uh, store and forward. And if it's in store and forward for an hour or two, there are a number of credit card transactions that probably would not have been approved. So, and, and uh, a couple of hours later, when you realize that when the primary circuit comes back up, it's, it's, it's too late. So they looked to us for a, for a solution and, and Cellcast was an absolute uh, perfect one for, uh, for them. Uh, they ended up also uh, putting um, their internal internet um, communications uh, on it, uh, and as well as some as well as some VoIP. So, uh, multi-chain hospitality, a really really good good market, uh, because the the uh, the cost of the solution and in, in in most cases just a fraction of what these organizations are are losing each month that they don't have a, a solid failover. A solution in place. Okay, um, I want to talk a little bit about installations. Um, the first thing we're going to uh, to do when we work on an opportunity with you is is uh, is, is understand what's at the location. Our engineers are going to be talking to you or either the IT person. At, uh, at your customer's location to understand what they have in place. And what we're, what we're doing here is we're learning enough about the network where we can pre-configure the router. And our goal is for it to, to show up in the site, plug in, and start working. And that, that happens in a, a very high percentage of, uh, of cases. So uh, learning about the network is really, really uh, important. Um, all of our... Um, um, sites up to this point are, are self-installed. Sometimes there's a, a, an IT expert close by and you'd certainly fall in that category, but sometimes the store manager is the guy that's responsible for, uh, for IT. And if all he's got to do is, 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 is plug it up and he's on the network, then that, that's, the, uh, that's the ideal scenario. Um, all of that said, our network operations center in Raleigh is manned 24-7, 365. And there's a, a Cellcast engineer there all the time to answer any questions that uh, the, uh, the user might, might have. And, and obviously we can connect into the, into the router and do analytics or whatever is necessary to, to troubleshoot and get it online. We do uh, provide uh, installation uh, services if, 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 if you've got a customer that's absolutely adamant about that, but we don't think it's really, it's really necessary. Here are a couple of the questions that we get uh, answer or get uh, asked uh, often, and, and I wanted to go through those uh, uh, quickly with you. Where can Cellcast be installed? Um, well, really anywhere in the in in the U.S. now uh, is a, a serviceable area. We um, we typically uh, lead with uh, Verizon, um, and we'll do a, a heat map analysis of a address, a particular address, and determine what, uh, what the signal level looks like there. If we're concerned at all, then we'll do the same using AT&T or, 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 or T-Mobile to make sure you're going to get the best experience that you can. But typically Verizon uh, provides very, very good 4G, uh, 4G LTE uh, uh, coverage. What data rates can customers uh, expect? If, if any 4G uh, provider uh, tells you that they can guarantee uh, a, a data rate, you should probably run because it's, it's just not, it's not possible. Um, we, we don't know what traffic is on a particular uh, tower. We don't know what's going on through, throughout the day. Um, that said, we're, we're finding uh, the, the, the typical rates to be 10 uh, megabits uh, down and, and about 5 megabits up. We've got a lot of sites that are much, much higher than that. We've got some sites that are less than that. Uh, we, if, there, if there's any question about signal level, uh, our, our philosophy is let's, let's send a unit out, let you hook it up, let's monitor uh, speed, and uh, it will probably be fine. If not, we, we take the, the unit back, no questions uh, asked, and you can look for a, another, another solution. 
but uh, guaranteed uh, data rates is, is, is not something that's, that's possible. It's really the same is the, the case uh, with the third uh, FAQ here, what's the standard QF, QoS or availability uh, numbers. Um, you can't tell. You can't tell. Anyone tells you that they can, they can uh, commit to a, a, a QoS, I'd be very, very, very uh, questionable about, about that. We differentiate our service by monitoring closely and reporting to you uh, closely, so um, we think that's important. And the, uh, the last here, how can I estimate data usage for a primary network application? It, it, we, we, we have a number of agents that call us and, and, and say, you know, I've got an opportunity. And one of our first questions is, you know, what do you, what's the anticipated uh, data usage? And in some cases, they just don't know. And the customer just uh, doesn't, doesn't know. We're fine with sending a unit out, letting it stay in place for uh, four or five or six days and, and sort of seeing what the traffic looks like. If it's an application that we can, um, that we can uh, serve properly, then we get the right paperwork in place and we move on. If not, we take the unit back and look at another, another opportunity. We don't want you to have a solution in place that's not, it's not effective for what you're trying to do. Um, quote process and, and order, and order process. Um, we try to make these as simple as, as possible. We're gonna ask you for the company name, where they're located, if their billing address is different than where the site, uh, the equipment is gonna, gonna be, and uh, determine if it's a failover, a primary, or a, an SD-WAN uh, type application. And then we're gonna send a quotation out, something that's customer facing that you can use to, to forward directly to, your, to your, your customer and they can sign off on it or look at the T's and C's or whatever they, they want to, to do. Now, once we get the order in, in place, we're, we're going to want to have some interaction with the, the site, again, to make sure that our pre-configuration is, uh, is in order. We, uh, we want to know if we you know, need to set it up for standard DHCP or if we need to set it up for, for IP uh, pass-through. We'll want to know when you want to start the uh, service. Uh, we'll put the channel information uh, into, into that document. And we always want to have a good technical contact so we can reach uh, can reach that person if we see something that we feel like they need to to be uh, aware of. Getting close here, folks. Okay. Are you going to make any money at this? Well, yes. <laughs> two two components here. This is one that I wanted to to share with you. There's a seventy nine dollar activation fee for the contracts that we that we do. And, and that's, that's spiffed 100% to, to you. Um, you have complete control over that, though. If, if, the, if the deal is going to be a tight one and you think that that's 79, you can probably get away with 59 or 29, or you feel like, you know, I've just got to waive it completely, that's, that's completely in, in, your, in your control. But if you do get the $79 activation fee, that's going directly to you. So the second commission component is, um, is, is obviously you know, regarding uh, MRC. And the, the, the way that we differentiate ourselves here is we're gonna, we're gonna pay you commission on the monthly uh, recurring cost, but even though we do, uh, uh, I, I think, a solid job of understanding what the data requirements are, a significant number of our customers do use additional data each and every month and you, you get commission on that additional um, data as, as well. So that's, um, that's a really, really important factor and not something that, that all 4G providers are, are doing these days. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up here uh, by saying um, thanks again for, for coming. We, we really do appreciate it. I've, I've, I've learned a lot today and, and was able to, sp to speak to a number of, uh, of you and, and get real life experience from, from what you're encountering in the, in the marketplace. Um, secondly, I, I don't need to tell you, uh, you know, how, how great TCG is. Our, our relationship with them is, is fairly uh, young, but uh, it's, it's everything we expected. Um, Henry, Henry asked me uh, before we got started today, you know, you know why did you guys um, 
pick uh, TCG. And uh, I told him, I said, you know, we, we did a pretty thorough analysis of the marketplace uh, of all the masters out there, and they all aren't the same. Um, we were looking for someone that, um, that matched our business philosophy, uh, very uh, customer-centric, uh, very hands-on, um, sort of, you know, old-fashioned support. We, we don't mind getting on the phone and, and calling a customer and actually working through an issue. And, and that, that's what we found in our research of, of, of TCG. So you're all really, really fortunate to be able to work with, uh, with, those, with those folks. Um, give us an opportunity to work with you. We'll, uh, we'll, 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 we'll do a couple of things. We'll make sure that your customer gets the best solution that they can, they can get from, from us. And, and, and secondly, we'll make sure that we put a, uh, a recurring uh, revenue uh, stream in, in place that's gonna, gonna compensate you for a, for a good long time. Thank you very much.